You're more than enough for us. Ooh, I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Wasn't holding you up, so there's nothing I can do to let you down. It doesn't take a trophy to make you proud. storm but i won't go down i, go I hear down. your voice carried in the rhythm of the wind to call me out you would cross an ocean so i wouldn't drown you've never been closer than you are right now you are a child Child
Where you need us Take me there Take me there If you're looking for an offering I'm right here My life is here And I'll be a living Sacrifice for you You're a fire A refiner I want to be consumed I want to be tried by fire Purified You take whatever you desire Lord, here's my life I want to be tried by fire Purified You take whatever you desire Lord, here's my life if your glory wants to come in, let it fall. We want it all. Lord, your fire is consuming. Fill this place, set it ablaze, and I'll be here.
Take my life as a sacrifice. I wanna burn for you, only for you. Clean my, purify my heart. This will be my posture, laying at your feet, just to dwell. Let's sing aloud, church. There, dearest Father, closest friend, most beautiful. You are 
that's all we have left to offer. Oh, sing it loud. There are no words to describe your goodness, Jesus. Hey. Oh. 
just like you. You're beautiful. One more time, just the voices. I'm so in Grace is beautiful, your mercy beautiful. I fix, I fix my, my eyes on you. Your beauty. Your beauty. So your presence we acknowledge not just your presence but the power of your presence that we can be here and come in one way and because of your love and your grace and your mercy and your presence that we leave change that everything that's attached to us changes that our lives change our families change our homes change our jobs change that our perspective changes right here in your presence our shame is removed our guilt is removed our hearts are mended in your presence your presence changes everything if you know his presence is a life-changing thing would you lift up words of worship and words of praise for his presence for his presence for his presence for his presence in his presence there is fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore in his presence is liberty in his presence is his spirit in his presence there's healing in his presence there's joy in his presence there's salvation we thank you for your presence
I've come a long way And I've seen how you work There's so much goodness and grace Much more than I deserve Cause I know who I am I can't stay where I'm at We've come this far by faith And I just can't turn back Cause you're not done with me yet You're not done with me yet there's so much more to this story You're not done with me You're not done with me You're not done with me yet. There's so much more to this story Oh yes, 
I know him to be faithful when the storms are raging. He's a firm foundation. Oh, he's a firm foundation. Nobody like Jesus. My God. There's nobody like Jesus. Yeah. And I know him to be faithful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know him to be faithful.
and healed me and showed me exactly who he is, exactly how he works. That blood is still working. That blood is still saving. That blood is still cleansing. That blood is still healing. That blood is still saving. That blood is still healing. That blood is still cleansing. That blood is still working. to the worried and this goes out to the stressed sorting out a million thoughts running through your head to everyone that's waiting for better days ahead tired and frustrated and leaving words unsaid so please don't Hold your breath Just breathe Cause it's a miracle we can breathe There's power in the way that we breathe Release your heavy burdens and let everything Pray. 
you're in a desert Sometimes you feel the pain Sometimes he calms the storm And then sometimes he lets it rain But please don't hold your breath Just breathe See, it's a miracle we can breathe uh-huh. There's power in the way that we breathe Release your heavy burdens and let everything that Praise the Lord This is why we have Just praise the Lord And I can feel my lungs Taking air again Breathing, I'm breathing in oxygen I can feel my lungs It's 
not coincidence and it's not luck I know it comes from above That I've got miracles on miracles A million little miracles Everywhere I turn I see miracles on miracles Count your miracles one said sorry there's nothing more we can do well it was true I've never seen a particle at the end of a rainbow but I've got a promise I can hold in the middle of the struggle cause God if you said it you'll perform it Trust in your promise I'm gonna wait on you 
So wait, wait, wait on the Lord. Yeah. Lay down at your feet. He will, he will be. He will renew your strength. No matter what you're going through. Trust again, Lord, he will be I won't be rushed by society Wait on the Lord, wait on
what's going on?
the King of Kings. There's no one like you, no one like you, God. All hail the King of Kings. Cause there's no one like you, no one like you, God. Yeah, just so you guys know, we have spent the better part of a week gearing up for this moment right here. Praying that God would move, that he would speak, that he would heal. And so we know we can see your comments. We can see there's, there's people that are desperate for God to move. That are desperate for the Lord to speak. And I'm just going to be here to tell you that we're not here to convince God or have enough convincing words to persuade him to heal or persuade him to move. But I just believe what scripture says that if we lift up the name of Jesus, he draws us close to him. And so what we're gonna do right now and, and join us in your living room at home, in your kitchen, we're just gonna begin to lift up the King of Kings. We're gonna exalt Jesus higher than anything else, higher than coronavirus, higher than financial worries, higher than sickness. We're just gonna lift up Jesus and I believe that as he draws us close, healing is gonna pour out, that heaven's gonna come down to earth. So we're gonna sing and we're gonna worship. watching together from four different locations. We're praying for healing for Tom's wife, Ryan, Tina's daughter, Dale's father in the ICU. Whew. 
Kimberly's group, group leader, Chad, who was diagnosed with cancer. I'm so sorry to hear that, but we're praying for you, Chad. We're praying for you, Chad. God, would you heal Chad right now, man? I'm so sick of cancer, I hate cancer. Cancer took my dad from me when I was 14 years old. God, I hate cancer so much. Jesus, would you just remove it from Chad right now? God, would you just, would you remove it from Chad right now? Would you do what only you can do, Lord? God, would you heal him right now? And anyone else right now, Jesus, who's struggling with cancer, Lord, I pray, God, that the very root of it would shrivel up and die because it has no place and this, these bodies that you made perfect, and these bodies that you thought of, that you knitted together perfectly and wonderfully. Hopefully by now you have realized tonight is not a concert. Tonight is not a moment for you to sit back, pop your popcorn and watch us, because. If that's what you came for, you might as well just go ahead and skip on to the next YouTube channel. Uh, they probably are better, and they probably look better, and they probably are more entertaining. What we came here for is to try to bring church to you, to kind of gather together. It's been a long time. This room has been empty for far too long. <laughs> but the beauty of it, the Lord created this thing called technology, and so we can come right to you right where you are. And together, through the Spirit of God, we can connect, and we can worship our Savior, and we can just go after this is king, is Savior. Come on, tell us where you're from. Where are you from? Where are you from? We want to know where you're from. We saw some people from Romania. Is, a, is our person, who is, what was her name last night? Um, from London. That's who I want to find. That was Becca? Maddie. Maddie? Maddie. Maddie from London. We are shouting out to you. I don't see you here, but I believe you're here. And we are shouting out to you. It's like, what, 1 a.m. over there? You're crazy. 2 a.m., you're crazy. But we are so glad you're joining us. We got people here from Canada, eh? <laughs> hey, Canada's actually really sweet. I've been there one time, it was amazing. Brazil, come on, come on. Tons from the USA, well, praise God for that. Tons of USA folks. Nigeria, hey, Nigeria, come on. <laughs> hey, hey, remember, his name was um, Elo Ula Toya Troy. I'm so sorry but he knows who he is and he spelled it out for us last night and he was gonna be with us and his whole family from Nigeria. We are so glad to have you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! Come on. Hey, we're just gonna keep on moving tonight. But man, tonight is all about Jesus and I'm believing that as we continue to sing, as we continue to worship him, as we continue to engage together, that some amazing things are gonna happen. They're gonna happen right there in their living room. And please, 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 please hear me when I say this. Man, I'll tell you what, if whatever you encounter with the Lord tonight, would you let us know on Instagram? Would you let us know somehow, some way? Because it is so encouraging for us. We were in, we were in Arizona uh, about a month ago, or two months ago. Yeah, two months ago, it was before the quarantine stuff. And there was a gentleman that got healed of esophagus cancer, stage four cancer. We didn't find out until the next morning, but I'll tell you what, man, that just changed everything. It just changed everything. So we wanna know that. Um, here in uh, Denver at eight o'clock, people come outside and they start howling. And they're howling in support of, uh, of all of the first responders, those who are on the front lines right now dealing with this terrible virus. Praise God for that. I think there's something so unifying and amazing about that. But what if right here at a, a 7 p.m., I guess, yeah, 7 p.m. time zone, mountain standard time, what if all of us gathered together as the church body and we all just lifted up the same song, the same chorus, the same vocal to our God, the one, the one who deserves it anyways, huh? What if we did that? Maybe if we did that, maybe just maybe if we did that, like in Acts um, chapter was a 16, when, when the chains fall off Paul and Silas when they're in prison, maybe just maybe there's some chains that will be falling off you tonight. Maybe, just maybe, maybe, just maybe, as the church of Christ rises up together and worships our Savior, worships our Redeemer, worships our Healer, worships Jesus, maybe, just maybe, as we do that, He will push back this darkness. He will push back this virus. And maybe, just maybe, just like the walls of Jericho, they will come down. Maybe we've been doing this for six days, and today's the seventh day, and this is the seventh time around. And maybe, just maybe, this is the moment. So church, I don't know, but I do know that God is in control. And I do know because I've experienced it. I do know because I've tasted and seen that he is good. He is good. 
He is good for me. He is good for them. He's good for you. He's good and he is with you in your situation even right now. In Jesus' name, Lord, as we continue to go after you, God, I pray that you would do supernaturally what only you can do, Jesus. What only you can do, Jesus. That you would push back the darkness, Father. I pray that you would heal our land, Jesus. God, I pray, Lord, as we turn to you, you would heal our land. God, there is no one like the name of Jesus. There is no one like Jesus Christ, our healer, our savior. And so, Father, so, Father, we turn all of our attention to you. And we call out the name of Jesus, the name above all names. Would you do something supernatural, even in the natural tonight?